had to come sooner or later, didn't it? Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Master System. Uh, released in 1991, actually after the Mega Drive version, uh, which many people don't realise, the Genesis slash Mega Drive version came first, and due to its success, this version on the Master System followed. Many people think that Sonic was originally a Master System game, but no, no, that was Alex Kid. Well, that's what came bundled with the Master System 2, at least. Uh, later Master System 2s, of course, had this game built into them. And yeah, it's very much based on the Mega Drive version. It's got some speed, you can't do the spear attack, but then you couldn't do the spear attack in the first version of Sonic on the Mega Drive. We've got a reduced number of rings, we've got the TV set. Uh, yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? It's not quite as quick, but then what do you expect? For a Master System, the speed is still pretty good. Got the invincibility and the little flips. Of course, there's no loop for loops in the Master System version. Apparently, that was beyond the system's capabilities. Also, Master System owners were told in various publications at the time. Of course, when Sonic 2 came out in the Master System, we had the loops, so we knew that we'd all been taken for a bit of a ride. Yeah, I think this is one of the first games I played in the Master System back in uh, 91. Uh, yeah, I think I got this for Christmas 91. And yeah, loved it. Obviously, Alex Kid was the first game with its dubious game of rock, paper, scissors at the end of each level, which frustrated the living hell out of me. Imagine doing so well in a game and then getting to a point where it's <laughs> it's just fluke. And that is not how to run a game, is it? There we go. Uh, the special stage on the Master System version is... Oh, I've got to actually go through the sign on the Master System version. The special stage isn't the spinny thing like on the Mega Drive. It's just some big dark room with loads of rings. And of course we get this beautiful map, which we don't on the Mega Drive, which shows our progress. A bit sort of Nintendo-esque, Zelda-y, Mario... I quite like it. No parallax scrolling. I forgot about that bit. No parallax scrolling on this, but we've got some nice uh, transparency effects going on there. A bit of an underground. Nice transparency water effects using some divering. Lovely to see. Um, that waterfall. Yeah, it's moving. Just. It's alright, isn't it? It's not a bad game at all. It's a very different type of game to the Mega Drive one where you can just... In the Mega Drive you can just run through like some sort of blazing animal. On this one, it's more of a sedate, uh, relaxed, work it out sort of thing. It's a cr sort of a cross between Mario and Sonic, I would say. It's a welcome cross. Sonic 2... Ah, my good god, Sonic. What's that little dip for? Dip there, what's that? Just to add a bit of variation to the undulation. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if this is the best Sonic game for the Master System. I think that would have to go to Sonic Chaos, which is, I think that was a sort of a uh, game to make up for Sonic 2 on the Master System. Although Sonic 2 on the Master System was good, it got bloody good reviews at the time. Me Machine Sega gave it 90. Ah, my God, you oh. Me Machine Sega gave it um, 96%, I believe, or something like that. Uh, where am I going? What am I doing in here? Get out, Sonic! Get out! And they gave, uh, I think, the Mega Drive one got 96 and the Master System got 95. I don't know whether that was just to a P. No, oh, you absolute idiot. This is what I mean when this game takes a bit more thinking. I mean, I, I know you get these little jump... <laughs> oh, God! These little jumpy bits in the Mega Drive. But you can just kind of jump through the Mega Drive one and just blaze your way across. I never step onto these, but it's just easier just to step onto them, isn't it? I'd always jump and then act like a... look like an absolute buffoon. Oh, can I jump? No. I wonder if I can go through there. No. No, no. Still, if you see a wall, always run into it in a crouched position. It's the only way to be sure. Okay, bonus stage. I think that means bonus stage. Oh, it's like a pinball zone, isn't it? It's a bit like um, Sonic 
spin ball on the master system. I think something like that. I might not know what I'm talking about. Here we go. It's a bit pinballish. There's no flippers. It just bounce around. Oh, it's much more. I always remember this as just being like a black, dark area. I didn't realise it had so many pretty stars in the background. It's quite nice, isn't it? So you just spelt out of there. Free continue. Yes, thanks. Oh, I've got time. I didn't even notice the massive, limited time splashed across the screen. What am I doing? I'm half asleep. Okay, the other ones are, yep, yeah, they are higher. Bounce higher from the different coloured springs. I should have got more rings. I have 24 seconds left. That was a wasted... Look at Robotnik. He looks happy. And this is obviously in the days when Robotnik was called Robotnik before he was called Dr. Eggman. Bloody Eggman. Just because he's shaped like an egg. You shouldn't prey on people's... how they look. Robotnik's his name. Keep calling him Robotnik. It's not difficult to say, is it? Uh, you'll notice the music is um, the Mega Drive version. Or a attempt at it. Look at this. I love this boss. Come on, Robotnik. Come on. Do your stuff. Get your shit on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Stop showboating. Down, Robotnik. Oh, maybe not. I'm going to try and take you down, Robotnik. Come on, stop hovering up there. Come on. What's he doing? That's a bit better. Okay, let's try this again. Come on, a couple more hits. Is it eight hits with Robot Robotnik? Three with a Mario enemy, isn't it? And I think it's eight with Robotnik. Because he is badass. Take some of that, you little egg-shaped munchkin. Who isn't called Eggman? Release the animals. Far fewer animals than the Mega Drive version. There's about four which escape. Oh, what's that? Ten? Fifteen? Oh, there's a, there's a few. There's about fifteen or so animals compared to the, the masses which you release on the Mega Drive version. And then we go on to the bridge? Bridge zone? With completely different music and completely different to me the Mega Drive version. From this point onwards, we are not in the Mega Drive world. We are in Master System territory very firmly. They gave us a nice easy introduction with the Master System version of Green Hill. We've still got fam the familiar foes to fend, but it's a different land entirely. And I'm just gonna die. This is a quick play, so I can die, and I don't care. No one cares. People are probably thinking, yep, yeah, die. I've got some things to do. I've got things to do. It's game over. No, I'm not gonna continue. But um, join me for Friday, hopefully, when I'll put all these quick plays into a feature-length video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.